Yeah, he sees me and he asks me for the pizza. He always asks me for the This national helpline, they could put you in touch with the services in this area, right. and then up here is my number, and then this is my channel on YouTube. Oh, you even got your picture on there. Yeah. Awesome. So, where do you need to go, Ryan? Just wait back down there where you grind, where I'll see you at it first. Okay. Yeah, I had to get away from that shit. Man. They fucking stabbed that kid to death over there. People, I mean, it's always sold drugs on all the corners, so really? I always came down here from the suburbs to uh, get drugs all the time. All the time, man. Yeah, when I came down here the first time, man, it blew my mind. It's a constant thing, man. Blew my mind. This is good thing. All right, brother. Hey, God thanks, man. You. I appreciate God you. God bless you, man. Be, Be good. safe out here. too, man. Be careful when you're out. I will.
Yep. You asked me before, right? I told you I didn't fucking forget. Alright, have a God bless, alright? Places is hell. Hell. On earth. People are suffering and they're making each other suffer. Right? We have people selling drugs because they're in a, a bad situation themselves or whatever. We have people buying drugs because they're addicted to them. We have people coming down here buying sex because they're addicted to sex. We have each addiction hurting the other. We have a greed of a drug dealer, that addiction, hurting the addiction of using the drug, and it's selfish in, in itself. Using drugs is selfish, in my opinion. And we have the sex-addicted perverts 
who come down here and buy these women for sex. So we have three addictions intermingling, creating one hell on earth. Kensington, North Philadelphia has always been an open air drug market. This is nothing new. It was like this in the late 1990s. I was coming down here buying drugs on these street corners from the suburbs. Open air style. I didn't know nobody here. You know? So, this is a problem that has been around for quite some time. I don't know why people are acting so surprised. Maybe people weren't in the streets getting high, but trust me, it was bad. It was very bad. And, um, you know, the only way a person is going to escape Kensington, the only way Kensington is going to change for somebody is if somebody breaks out and leaves Kensington. Unfortunately, that's the way it is right now. And there's good people living in these neighborhoods. Hard, working, good, honest, caring people. feel like they're held hostage in their own neighborhood.